Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth video in our series of videos on political developments in Ireland in the 20th century. So in our last video we looked at the introduction of the Parliament Act and the Home Rule Crisis that happened after uh, with the Liberals and the Home Rule Party using the Parliament Act to pass the third Home Rule Bill. So today we will look at what stopped civil war from breaking out in Ireland and that was World War I. But in this presentation, your learning outcomes, you should first of all know what the Unionist and the Nationalist responses were to the outbreak of World War I. Second, you should know how and why the Irish Volunteer Force split. And third, you should know how many Irish served and died in World War I. As we said last week, Ireland was on the verge of civil war when World War I broke out. We won't be covering World War I in detail, but essentially there had been a number of international incidents over the previous few years in 1905, 1908 and 1911. And most of the major powers of Europe had secret alliances with allies stating that if war were to break out, that they would come to help their allies. So in 1914, a man called Gavrilo Princeps, a member of a secret organization in Serbia called the Black Hand, killed the Archduke of the Austrian Empire, Franz Ferdinand. And this caused a chain of events that dragged all the major powers of Europe into the most destructive war the world had ever seen. World War I lasted from July 1914 to November 1918. When the war broke out, everyone thought that it would only last for a few months. But in the end, it lasted for over four years and over 15 million people died. The world had never, ever seen destruction on this scale before, had never seen deaths on this scale before. Over 130 countries took part in the fighting. Uh, and it was marked by massive battles, such as the Battle of the Somme. The Battle of the Somme, as you can see here in the Somme, is located in the north of France. On the first day alone, 20,000 men were killed. And overall, more than 300,000 men were killed at this battle. There had never been a battle of this size before. So what was the reaction in Ireland to the outbreak of World War I? So the Unionist Volunteer Force, they immediately joined the war effort, thinking that it was a great way to show their loyalty and their importance to the British Empire. They also believed that they would get special treatment for their efforts. The Irish Volunteer Force actually split up over the war. So John Redmond, who we met before, was the leader of the Home Rule Party. And he appealed to the men of the IVF, the men of the Irish Volunteer Force, at a speech at Woodenbridge, County Wicklow, to volunteer for the British Army and to fight in the war. They believed that if they fought in the war, they would prove their loyalty to Britain and that they were deserving of home rule. 110,000 of the 120,000 volunteers answered Redmond's call and joined the British Army. These 110,000 men became known as the National Volunteers. The other 10,000 Irish volunteers decided to follow their original leader, Owen McNeill, and to stay at home and to defend Ireland. They were still called the Irish Volunteers, so that was the split. The people who went to the war were known as the National Volunteers, and the people who stayed were known as the Irish Volunteers. So over the course of the four years of the war, around a quarter of a million Irishmen fought in the British Army. They fought in horrific battles such as Somme, as we mentioned, and Ypres. Uh, and it's believed that somewhere between 30,000 and 50,000 Irishmen died during World War I. Now these facts are pretty horrific and you would think that this is the worst thing that could have happened to a country. But just to illustrate how tense things were in Ireland before the outbreak of World War I, Herbert Asquith, who we've met as he's the Liberal Prime Minister of Britain at the time who introduced the Third Home Rule Bill, he wrote in his diary over six months after World War I had broke out that one of the greatest pieces of luck in his career was that World War I broke out because it took people's attention away from the Home Rule crisis. That the Prime Minister of Britain could say this six months into the bloodiest conflict 
humankind had ever known shows just how bad things had got with the home rule crisis. That brings us to the end of our presentation. So uh, you guys should know the Unionist and the Nationalist responses to the outbreak of World War I. So the Unionist response was to immediately join the British Army and um, 110,000 of the 120,000 uh, Irish volunteers joined the war as well. Uh, you should know why the Irish volunteer force split. Some of them decided to follow Redmond and became the National Volunteers and joined the Army. Some of them became, stayed as the Irish Volunteers and decided that they wanted to stay and fight for Ireland. And finally, you should know how many Irish people served and died in World War I. So roughly uh, a quarter of a million served and 30 to 50,000 died. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys got some good information from this video.